Hi there, this is Matt with State of Flex here with a review for Star Trek, the motion picture. This is me revisiting a review that I did about a year ago. Um, Star Trek The Motion Picture is a unique film in that it's a movie brimming with ideas uh, based around poor execution. In short, it's a beautiful dud. It is beautifully shot, laced with ideas. But any time there is any kind of forward momentum or propulsion that this movie has, the film jettisons it, quite literally in the moment when Spock is traveling, hurtling through space, and just gets rid of his jetpack so he can slowly move towards the event that's happening. I almost just died. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, uh, the only thing that's remarkable about this is how great looking it is. The special effects in this movie hold up. The, the, the um, score by Jerry Goldsmith is phenomenal. And once you sit down and assess what this movie is truly about. Ignore all the V'ger stuff. Ignore all the stuff with Spock and getting the crew back together Muppet movie style. Like, ignore all that stuff. This is a movie wherein Captain Kirk, now Admiral Kirk, demotes the acting captain of the ship repeatedly until that man just chooses death over his existence in life. Uh, it's just through, done through a series of dismissive demotions. First, Captain Decker is introducing Kirk around this ship. Kirk decides he wants to take control <coughs> and shunts uh, Captain Decker off to the side. And then through a series of minimizations, finally, when confronting V'ger at the end of the movie, V'ger needs sort of like this sacrifice. Uh, Decker's just like, I have nothing left to live for. I'll bang the robot and be blown away into oblivion. And that's uh, how it ends. And the funniest part of that is Kirk's ending monologue, where he's about to give recognition to who Decker was stops himself, and it was like, no, let's not do that. And so this is a character that will forever be forgotten, kind of like this movie. It's a forgettable mess. It's overlong at two and a half hours. Doesn't matter how pretty it is, it just, it, it stops dead anytime there's any suggestion of moving forward. It holds itself back. The warp drive scene is, uh, is stunning for a moment, but it goes on forever. And we have to stop, as a film universe, doing high speed at slow speed to show you how fast things are truly going. It just, it, it's a neat concept, but in action is just that. It's slow. It's unremarkable. It is a moment's flutter of like the synapses and that's it. Um, I, I don't understand why this movie has such a hardcore fan base. The ones that love it love this movie and maybe if you can explain it down in the comments down below that'd be cool. But this one doesn't really do it for me. This was the first piece of Star Trek anything that I had seen and I almost didn't continue on with it. Um, but my dad urged me to watch Wrath of Khan, and I'm glad I did. Next review coming up for you will be Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Peace.